There are three legendary swords scattered around the second seat that are insanely difficult to get your hands on. And today, we're not only going to just get every single one of the swords, I'm also going to make a very complicated process as easy as absolutely humanly possible. Now, if you don't yet know the swords I'm talking about, I'm talking about every single piece that is belonging to the true triple katana. I mean, true triple katana is very, very hard to get. Now, the main reason this gets insanely difficult is because actually, we have to find the legendary sword dealer and yeah there's actually a couple different ways that you can get him now the most common one and the most you know popular one is actually after you've been in a server for at least 10 minutes because as you can see right now i haven't been in the server for 10 minutes it will just tell me i'm too early but uh, this man right here will tell you how close the actual swordsman is like to spawning now actually these are the different dialogues that you can actually get so to be able to even get these swords you have to com complete the coliseum quest <laughs> and yeah if he tells you you're too early you're just simply too early but pretty much uh yeah depending on how long it is until the the legendary sword dealer spawns there's different messages so uh, honestly the most important one is that hey i just saw him he told me he would be around the area for 15 minutes which means that the legendary swords dealer is currently in your server and you most definitely want to like hunt for him and actually you know grab one of the swords also i think this one is pretty good i think you should be getting here soon it's all anyone has been talking about which means that there's only 15 15 minutes left honestly probably worth waiting for but uh you know what the worst part about this process is that you can't just server hop and check okay is this guy in this server because yeah you will simply hear you're too early you gotta wait 10 minutes every single time so we're gonna see if we can actually bypass that all right now the legendary sword dealer has a couple different spawning locations now let me quickly show you every single one of them because if you wanted to you could simply just server hop check every single location and then move on to the next server because the guy is clearly not in your current server. Now, the first location is right here behind this rock. It would be like right around over here. The second location I will show you is actually on the green island. And I'm pretty sure it's on this leaf right here. So yeah, the guy has spawned it. He would actually be on this leaf right here. It's kind of random, but yeah, just look around. You can kind of see like, because it's on the biggest stock and there's the gravity guy over there. The third spawning location is actually right here on the graveyard island. Pretty much like almost at the top of the, the, the tower right here. Yeah, pretty much if you go to the tower, you will spot him. Then we have the next spawning location right here over in the, what is it called? The, the Colosseum. Sorry, guys. Yeah, uh, he would be right here in between one of these uh, little beams right here, which obviously currently he is. All right, then our next location is actually going to be right here in this little like cove. Uh, you can, you, you guys probably know where it is. Like right from spawn, you go over here. And yeah, you can spawn a boat right there if you have the like luxury boat dealer. But yeah, the guy's actually right around the corner here. Boom, right there. And yeah, obviously he's not here right now. So then let's go to the final location. All right, there it is. Final location on the little tiny island. Yeah, he would actually be, I'm pretty sure, in this house right here. If it's not this one, it would actually be in, uh, in this one. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Anyway, those are all of the spawning locations. Now, currently, sadly, I know that in this server, there is no legendary sword dealer. I mean, honestly, it, it's kind of what you could have expected. Because, dude, this guy is insanely rare to spawn. So rare, as a matter of fact, that actually, he is only in the server for 15 minutes. Yet, it takes 15 hours for him to spawn. So, so yeah pretty crazy all right now it's been a little while so let's actually just talk to the manager because i might as well what's up warrior do you wish to hear where he was last seen yes a man in here earlier claimed to see a ship nearby today check with me later now what does that mean now that actually means that he might spawn in as little as a one hour and 15 minutes actually between an hour and 15 and 15 minutes which means that this guy is pretty close to spawning now guys would I recommend actually server hopping to talk to these guys? I mean, not really. It's kind of a bad idea. If anything, I would just say for the entire duration, while you're in the second sea, if you've just been in a server for a little while and you're just back at the cafe, just talk to the guy. See, like, hey, is this guy about to spawn? And yeah, if he says what he just told me, then, you know, you might actually want to go grab that. Yeah, it's the same message. All right, actually, a fruit spawn. You know what? I kind of want that. Dark fruit. Let's go. But yeah, guys, just because this guy is so rare to spawn, even if you have a server where it's only an hour or actually where it's a whopping hour and 15 minutes until he spawns that is still pretty dang good so yeah i think i will actually wait in the server because currently i only have one of the swords i'm gonna need all three of them now this is a very rare occasion and actually if you really want to just get these swords quick i also have a farming method that i will show as soon as i get this sword oh guess what baby 
I think it should be getting here soon. It's all anyone in here has been able to be talking about. Let's freaking go, dude. Okay, we gotta be fast though, because there's a bunch of people here waiting. Wait, 50 minutes! It is go time! Go time! All right, first spot right there. Okay, now if he's right here, this other guy will have beaten me to it. Oh wait, no, he stopped walking. No, 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 no. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Let me bite. Did I bite? No, he bought it! I hate you! No! Oh, dude. He was in the very first spawning location. And I literally got stuck in the menu. That is so annoying. Well, I guess that just means that we're going to have to use our backup method, which actually might be way faster than actually simply waiting for this kind of stuff. Dude, I had to wait like still like an hour and a half pretty much. Actually, hell no literally impossible but for like an like an hour to actually get the guy to spawn and then get the sword so yeah still pretty annoying <laughs> so what we are going to be doing instead is uh we're going to be doing what i'm going to call the advanced method now before we actually start this i do want to mention one thing one thing you can actually do is simply get your friends to help and ask you know if your friends are online like hey can you check if the guy has spawned in or maybe just random strangers in a server and there's a pretty decent chance that they might tell you oh wait the guy's actually about to spawn that's actually kind of cool and then it's worth actually staying in the server for so yeah yeah. But uh, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing something way more fun. All right, there we go. Now, first things first, what would you actually want to do, at least if you want to do it as fast as possible, uh, you want to go to the uh, graveyard. And as you guys probably know, right up here is actually one of the spawning locations. So there's a chance that the guy will have actually spawned right up here. Now, the reason you kind of want to get the portal fruit is because it simply allows you to be way faster. Like, for example, right now, uh, I could check the graveyard or the Coliseum or, you know, any one of these locations. But we're going to do a very, very specific little trick that's gonna allow us to insanely quickly actually you know try to farm this guy <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna once again make sure that i have set my spawn point at the graveyard okay this is where you want your spawn point to be it's simply the best spawn point and then every single time when we server hop this is all we're gonna have to do simply find ourselves a new server join whatever team it really doesn't matter then we're gonna quickly go up here to check if the guy has actually spawned up here which clearly right now he hasn't and then we're gonna teleport to remote because right here what will actually happen is you can't set a spawn point right here is actually once again one of the spawning locations so now when we server hop without ever using the world map again we will be respawning back at the graveyard so yeah with this method you can actually quickly server hop to try to find the guy and just simply go between two locations and it's really really quick like look at this i just checked two locations all right back to server hopping and actually constantly doing this is going to be a way quicker method of actually getting your hands on the sword because these swords are insanely rare like insanely insanely rare all right not up here remote and yeah we're gonna just simply be doing this little like you know cycling uh, you know trying to find the guy for pretty much until we actually find him now when we find him there's still a chance that we actually find him holding a sword that we already have which if that's the case it's just a bummer and you're gonna kind of just have to you know you can be nice about it and let everybody know or you can be rude and tell nobody uh but yeah that's like you know that's up to you but yeah if you already have the sword there's literally nothing you can do about it all right time to get to work all right then so after about 30 minutes of just hopping servers checking out the two locations i managed to find my very first sword and dude i got so freaking lucky he actually had wando which is of course one of the swords i did not yet have now this was way faster than even just waiting for you know the actual guy to spawn when i knew he was gonna spawn so yeah i would actually really recommend doing this instead so yeah guys i think it's safe to say that i know which method i'm gonna be using for you know getting my final sword and actually getting true triple katana now if you wanted to know how to get the true triple katana yourself there's actually right at the very tippy top of the green island a man you might want to speak to but hey that is actually all pretty fun stuff so i'm gonna leave that a surprise 